So the first version of this deck was simple mixed media on watercolour paper that I edited in Photoshop. I added borders and text and then I had it printed. Um, and here's some of the originals here. And I'll just quickly show you the project book. This is the project book that I made. I built up as I went. So these ones, as you can see, are um, on a larger scale. And there was, a, in this version, this first version, there was only 34 cards. So when i decided in a very hot summer a couple of years ago um, to recreate the deck i decided for fun that i would do them as a mini project and i've done them to scale little mini uh, um, collage works for this um, version, I also used a lot of um, lovely vintage images that I'd been collecting. So I, as I said, it was during a really hot summer, I decided to redo them. Um, it was impossible to do any large works or even to work in my studio very much. So I just did these. because they were easily done at a small desk inside. And for this version, I also added nine new cards, nine new symbols. And as you can, like I said, as you can see, they are to scale. They are the exact size. And that what I did with these ones, rather than printing, getting them printed, I just um, laminated them and that's how I used them for quite some time um, but printed cards yes are definitely a better option so here I am another version starting another version and these ones like I said I am doing on intuitive backgrounds they're not quite as large as the first version but they still are larger that I will need to edit down and how I did these is intuitive art that I absolutely love doing very spontaneous on large sheets and then I've cut them into quarters And I won't take too much time up on this video to talk to show you these uh, because I have been filming the process as I go and I plan to um, upload some process videos so I just wanted to quickly show you these and what I'm going to be doing is choosing a background as I go for each card one that I feel suits suits the symbol for instance this one i think to me looks a, like a star card and then i'll be adding collage maybe a little bit more paint i don't know whatever each card needs and i'm just going to show you a couple of cards Okay, and I just want to show you a 
couple of cards that I think are completed. So this one is Wind, although I'm not so sure whether I like all these additions and I might just go back to just the simple background for that one. And this one's the Compass, uh, compass Card Direction. And this, I've used the same images as I did in the last version, but obviously larger. And I actually didn't get that one out to, sh to compare. Let's see if I can quickly find it. Here it is, found it. So that's the comparison of the two. I didn't feel, for this one, I didn't feel I needed that because I've got a lovely little mandala happening in the background there. But overall, it's got a very similar feel to it. So that's where I'm at and that's the update of um, Signpost Oracle. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching and taking an interest in my work. My intention is to continue uploading other content to my channel as well and I won't be flooding it with this particular, this project and only this project and certainly not every single card. But I will be showing, showing you progress from time to time. By the way, if you're interested in knowing more about Oracle cards and my take on how they work, I've left a link below to a blog spot, uh, sorry, a blog post on my website called Random or Synchronicity that you may find helpful. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.